Benin at Harvard University. Unfortunately, I'm here to tell you the story of wishes. You failed, I failed. We all failed to protect. You failed to protect five friends that only have two survivors now. The last friend is gone. Shukriya is gone now, forever. Shukriya rhymed like her name was a blessing. A true friend, intelligent and competitive student. We had known each other since grade five. We were five friends and captains in our school. We attested to each other's talent to build country and serve people when we graduate. As the situation in the country worsened, our everyday conversation was, what if we die today? What would happen to our dreams? But Shukriya was very confident and calm. She said, nothing will happen whether we get very, whether we get injured or will be a metric. But please, if I die before becoming a doctor, call me first position. And instead of my name, write your more first position in my grave. These are all the words I remember from her. I called her brother yesterday. He said, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with her clues and books. She always had a smiley face. When the explosion happened, I rushed to the hospital and looked for her. I could not find her. The doctors gave me a corpse without a hand and half of the head was missing. I doubt it is her, but her teeth. My heart was broken when I saw her teeth. There's no clue from Shukriya's smile anymore. It was Shukriya. Today, Shukriya, like hundreds of Hazara students, which had the dream of making the world a better place for everyone, is not with us, just because she was a Hazara. Her mom could not see her in doctor's uniform because she was a Hazara. She cannot see the Eiffel Tower because she is a Hazara. She cannot go to Harvard because she is a Hazara. Whom should I blame for losing our hopes, our girls, our friends, our future, and our builders? The UN, the USA, who? I'm not a politician, but I want to blame your policy and poor actions. I want to blame myself for being silent and all who hear my voice and keep silent. Indeed, we are fearless. But you will never give up. If Shukriya was here, his message would be, fight for your rights and dreams if it costs your life. Today we stop. Stop genocide of us, our hopes and future, our nation and our dreams. We say stop to Shukriya genocide. Stop Marcia genocide. Stop banning genocide. 